Good afternoon and a happy Monday to you, the start of another working week. I don't even work. <laughs> what a joy life is. Right. I've got my, this is an open tag and this is done by our friend Slipjoint Sawyer. Uh, he put it out yesterday, but I've just downloaded the video and I didn't want to do the two in one day. So I've kept it till Monday. And uh, he wanted us to, to show our smart carry knives uh, like you would take to an event or a function. And I've got five here. And he was slow on that he had a, a slip joint. I, I'm fascinated with slip joints. I think they enha enhance a carry no end. And I do carry them a lot. I've got three here that are from a, a subscriber. And they're my three favourite slip joints. This man doesn't do this professionally. He does it just for friends and family. Uh, and he, he doesn't even want to be named. And, and I, I honestly, I can't believe how much I'm enjoying his slip joints. I am carrying it. this really. I have a lot of knives, red knives and whatever. And that's a giveaway for this one. But uh, this is just a collector knife slip. Uh, just seems to fit the slim per character of this knife. This is a Dark Arts Leatherworks uh, in the UK. So I'm just going to get into it. And they're, they're in no particular order. I'm just going to start and we'll finish where we finish. Here is my, this would be a high-end carry because this one you know, is my beautiful K9 Jack from Jack Wolf Knives. This is just, this to me is perfection for, a, for a, just an everyday carry knife. You've got M390 steel, which will get you through anything. It's so beautifully hollow ground from top to bottom. This lovely exaggerated dog leg, just a stunning knife to bring out. And do you want to know something? I'm a great believer that when you've got a bit of colour in knives, it takes the threatening look off them than an all black knife or whatever. So I, this is why I do like uh, traditional knives. It does take the, the threat out of the knives. So... There's one. In fact, I'll leave the knives out just as we go and you can have a, a look at them as we go along. Oh, there we go. There's the Jack Wolf. Uh, the next one along is another, and this is a colour, this is a lovely blue slip from Dark Arts Leather. Fantastic maker here in the UK. Please check him out. Now, look at this. This is a GEC. This is another dog leg, but as you can see, it's not as exaggerated as the Jack Wolf. But it has something that I like really in common, that beautiful fat spear point. It is just gorgeous. Really beautiful knife. And this is the unexcelled version of this knife. This is a number 56 pattern. You can see that there, sorry. 56. This is from 2018. And just look at the colour in that knife. Again, it's, it's a full-size pocket knife, but it just doesn't look threatening at all uh, to do with the blade shape but also that gorgeous gorgeous handle which i just think are covers we should say i keep being imperfect <laughs> so the covers on that are just stunning for any occasion and this next one in a lovely blue slip or brown slip is my look at that isn't that just gorgeous thank you thank you thank you i love these slips and this is my Boker knives. This is the Cubs, the uh, Cub? What is this? Club knife. Club knife. There we are. Beautiful, beautiful desert ironwood handles. Look at that. It is stunning. And a lovely, again, I, I, I draw onto these because they're, they're, they're people friendly. They don't look stabby knives, but they're also a knife that I like using. This blade shape. The, the the spear point and this is fatter than normal as well there's a theme here isn't there but this is non-threatening to me it looks more non-threatening like a clip point although you know i love a clip point and i carry them every bit as much but this is to an event and sometimes you have to sort of think ahead what you're going to take with you but a beautiful knife would remind people of a traditional knife and i just a carry that i absolutely love this next one is a wee gem. This is one I got from Frank at Framar Knives. He sent it to me for a Christmas present. He'll never know how much I love this knife. It's just a lovely nick. It's just a little jackknife. It's got a lovely, this is just, I use this all the time. I, I, I just think it's fantastic. It's a George, or, yeah, George Wilson home design. Beautiful uh, English made. 
or British made, whichever way you want to call it. And it has a lovely pen blade as well, which is good enough to do a lot of work. I just love this. Um, I'm still not even sure whether it's white bone or it's plastic. I think it might be plastic of some sort. It just looks so nice. Fit and finish, gorgeous. A little slim, unoffensive knife that you can take anywhere. And let me just oh, I'll turn it around so they're all facing down the ways. But a gorgeous little knife. And last but not least, look at the colour of this slip. When this was sent to me, I think if anybody else had a... Well, not anybody else. I'm exaggerating a bit. But they would have had a knife in mind. Because when this came, I knew exactly what knife was going to go into it. And it's not a blue handle knife or an aqua handle knife. This To me, this is a sea a C colour. You know, it is that beautiful C colour. And inside it, we have my fanciest of fancy knives. And this is not an expense. Well, it's over £100, but it, it's not much over £100. This is made by Ashley Harrison. I think it is the nicest one I've seen of this rendition of a just stunning pocket knife. Just look at that. And this one, unfortunately, not unfortunately, because I think it's fantastic. Look at that. Is that not just a stunning knife? And again, yes, it has that sort of blade, but that colour. When you pull the knife out, that colour is just stunning. Who could think a seashell could look as beautiful as that? It really is just amazing. And... Uh, that rounds off five of the knives that I picked that I would take to, I would take any or to any sort of a, uh, occasion or event that I was going to. Absolutely stunning. So thank you very much, um, Matt. Great challenge. I hope you like the knives. They are different variety and different price tags. Some of these are these three, I think these four, I mean, these are just over a hundred and this one's what you can buy it for. This is second hand, you know, so, uh, and that's the expensive baby up there. I adore them all and none more than the other. So there you go. Take care. Paddy's away. Cup of tea time. Thanks, Matt. Bye bye now. Join in. Join into this. Just, if it doesn't matter what your knives are, join in and show what you carry. Matt will love to see any range at any price, as I do. Just get them down and just link Matt in your, your video when you put it up. Take care. Bye.